Hey guys, it's Renee. So, the mystery of all mysteries is where do all hair ties, bobby pins, hair accessories and whatnot go? I don't know about that, but I wanted to make something for mine so they don't get lost anymore. For that, I'm going to be using this notepad that I bought at Target last year. And just for reference, this is how big it is. I'm just going to be basing myself from like this size, just because I want this DIY to be big enough. So to make this, I'm going to be using air dry clay enough so it covers like the whole thing. I'm just working over a piece of uh, wax paper just to avoid it getting stuck on the table and I'm just going to roll it. If you have a, a roller that is bigger, like something for cookies, go for it. I didn't find mine. I'm just going to be peeling off from the uh, wax paper so it doesn't get stuck in there and I'm just going to take my notepad I'm just going to be putting this on top. I'm just going to be taking my X-Acto knife and then cutting it but i'm just going to be making a, like a box out of it for that i'm going to be cutting like the edges the easy way that i found is pulling this towards me and then just sticking the corners because this is still wet but to make this corners like square i'm going to be taking a bunch of straws and i'm going to be gathering them with some tape using two per side in groups of two and then i'm just going to be cutting like four of them so in total i'm going to be using this much here i'm just changing the angle because it's easier for me to show you what i'm doing but yeah i'm just going to be putting this straws i'm just going to be gathering using some tape to just put this thing as tight as i can make it to be That's it for this part, but I want like the items that I'm going to be putting here divided into three sections. I'm going to be taking this a leftover piece of clay and I'm just going to be pretty much cutting this accordingly to the size. I didn't actually measure anything, I just winged it, you know, putting this piece of air dry clay in there and just kind of like guiding myself from whenever I needed to cut. I hope this makes some sense by watching this, but yeah, I made two of this like walls we could say. And then to actually glue these things together, I'm just going to be adding this with some water. The less water that you can um, add is better. Water acts like glue. And once the whole thing is drying, you can actually feel it when you touch it. It's not so soft anymore. I'm just going to carefully remove the straws that I added. Like this kind of clay dries with air, so air has to be all around it. Once the top is starting to dry, I'm just going to be uh, removing it from the wax paper and I'm just going to turn it upside down, doing that multiple times until it's dry. I just wanted to quickly show you how it dried before I go ahead and paint this. This is not straight. I left it a bit more than 24 hours. And what I did and how I let it dry, I just turned it, wait for half an hour, just turned it again. An hour later, turned again, and so on and so forth until I just had to go to sleep. I'm just gonna roll with it because I need this. But yeah, I just wanted to mention how it dried and what I did. With that being said, this is pretty much in the base. The next step is to paint it. You can go for whatever color you want, but I am going to be adding three designs. I'm going to be uh, grabbing my acrylic paint, my brush, and I'm just going to cover the whole thing. For the first design, kind of, I'm going to be using my detail brush, the back of it and some acrylic paint. I'm just going to add some polka dots. I had like a million designs that I want to try, but I knew I wanted to look clean, which means white background and simple ones. I'm going to be taking some yellow and some green acrylic paint. In order to stripes, I did something, but I changed my mind, but I'm going to be making a lighter version of the green for the green parts of my lavender, because I'm going to be painting a lavender plant here. And I'm just going to add the green part of that, like that, it's pretty simple. It doesn't have to be perfect at all, in fact, I was going for that anthropology vibe, like it's handmade and super cute. And then I'm going to be taking some green with nothing on it. I'm going to add some dimension to it. I went over the green stuff. As far as for the purple goes, I'm going to be mixing this with white and I'm going to be working with a bunch of strokes and my detail brush and just go all over it. It's pretty simple and easy. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. Then I'm going to be working with some plain purple and I'm going to go and add some like details on top. And I'm going to wait for it to dry. But as I wait for it to dry, I'm going to be taking a cotton and some acetone or nail polish remover. 
And because this is a Sharpie, this is going to be clean those stripes. I changed my mind and this is what I did. I went for stripes, but a bit like more space between them and darker. I took some gold acrylic paint and a brush. I'm going to be painting the kind of like walls of this. It's pretty simple, just grab like that, go all the way around. And I ended up uh, doing two coats of this because my gold acrylic paint is not that pigmented. And this is how I'm painting the whole thing, it's pretty easy. And then I decided to add more purple stuff on my lavender plant because I felt like it needed something else. I basically did the same thing but over those and I think it looks cuter with more stuff going on. And yeah, I'm just going to let the whole thing dry and set and then I'm going to be working outside because I'm going to be covering this with this crystal clear coating. And this is just to protect the sign and it's going to be giving this some shine and gloss. And yeah, this is pretty much the idea that I wanted to share with you. I lose like hair accessories all the time. I don't know what's up with me, but I do. This has been really handy because I can now place my hair accessories in here. It comes in handy when you have a lot of stuff, random stuff that you don't know where to put it. Or you can use this for jewelry if you don't have a big collection and you need a place to store it. It's kind of like basing myself from like stuff that I've seen on anthropology. But yeah, I really like it. Uh, the only thing that I didn't like is that it uh, dried with a bit of a curve, but it's okay, I can work with it. And making stuff out of clay, it's super easy and it's super affordable because with one package you can make a bunch of stuff. I bought mine at Walmart. So yeah, hopefully you like this and it was handy. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more stuff. Click on the notifications like the bell thing. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye guys.